Hey guys, hope your week's going well. I just want to check in here real quick because I have a lot of people asking me when that video of the AKC World Champion Frogger will be up. And that'll be done uploading. It'll still be up Sundays at 6 like it always is. But it's about 20 minutes and when you upload a 20 minute video that's in 4K with slow country internet, it takes quite a while. So it'll be done in probably about five days. So it'll be up by Sunday night if you're wondering. I'm having a lot of fun making those videos, going and hunting with the best handlers and hounds. It's really neat to be able to go see the top dogs in the world hunt. So I hope you guys enjoy that too. I know on YouTube, it's mostly just people hunting their own dogs. Don't get me wrong, that's interesting. It's nice to see everyone's dogs work, but I think it's pretty interesting to get to see the top breeders and handlers and hunters hunting with their hounds and see how they actually hunt them and train them and just hear the story about how they were raised from a puppy and a little bit of their journey to become some of the most successful coon hounds that ever lived. So if you guys enjoy those videos, make sure you leave a like on this one. And if you have any thoughts or opinions on any dogs or handlers I should get with next, just let me know. I'm going to hit at least two people from every breed of hounds and curs. already got a couple blue ticks lined up coming up after the first of the year. I'm working on an English dog and I got, I'm going to interview Alan Franklin and a couple other people with the Cur Dog World. Hunt with their dogs. I've done it before, but it'll be the same format as the Houndsman Spotlight series, but it'll be more with Cur Dogs. It'll be squirrel hunting and coon hunting. I'm going to do Alan Franklin and one of those for sure and maybe a couple other people but I'm lucky there's a lot of really quality dogs within a pretty close proximity to my house so I can just drive and hunt with them and interview them some. I'm trying to give you guys content that will help you become better hunters and dog trainers and also just interesting to see. I know they've got for years you've got magazines where you can see stud ads and read about dogs and hear people talking about the top dogs in the world but I actually want to bring you guys visual representation of what the dogs actually do in the woods and actually get to see them hunt because most of the time unless you draw them in a cast you never get to see the top dogs hunt. I want you guys to actually see what the top dogs look like just to give you an idea if you would want to get a pup out of that dog or if you hear hearsay about a dog on the internet you can actually see what it does because I think nowadays especially with social media you get a lot of people talking online that don't really have any idea what they're talking about they've never actually hunted with some of the dogs they're talking about so I want to actually be able to show you guys the truth and show you guys the handlers and show you guys what the dogs are actually capable of. I'm working on setting up a shop where you guys can order merchandise too. If that'd be something you're interested, let me know. It'll just be like hats and t-shirts and stuff. But I already had a few things made for my family and close friends just to see how it turned out to make sure it wasn't cheap junk. Sometime in the near future, I'll have that up too. That way you guys can order Stark Outdoors merchandise if you want to. But Mostly, I just hope you guys enjoy the videos and I get to hopefully do a good job of preserving and representing coon hounds and mountain curs and their handlers. Like I said, I love the old magazines. I got every cooner in full cry since like 1930, since they've been around. I've got just boxes and boxes of them. I always love looking at the old ads, but I don't want to do something similar to that, but actually in quality video format form to go along with it that way you can read and see the stud ads and I encourage you still to buy the magazines because I love looking at those magazines and seeing the pictures but I want to kind of do that but in video format that way you're not just reading and going off of what people say you can actually see what the dog does how it's built how it hunts and actually get to know the handlers a little bit so you know if you get a pup out of them what they had success doing and training it because that's something I also think would be beneficial is if you get a pup out of a stud dog and you have a certain training method that works with your dogs might not work with that one but if you have the handler and the breeder and the guy that trained that dog and had great success if you try and do what they do and see some of the common factors with their training methods i think it'll help you become more successful because as you'll see in this video coming up sunday at six there's a lot of similarities between the way Birchall handled and hunted, hunted his dog and the way ricky bryant hunted and handled his dog there's already starting to develop some patterns of how you train and hunt dogs from the time they're a puppy to a world champion. So I know there's a lot of tips and training videos out there that have a lot of good advice, but I want to try and bring you guys what the best people are currently doing and also a little bit of the historical stuff. I'm actually setting up some interviews with some of the top walker breeders right now that I personally know that have been breeding and been pretty inf influential with the walkers in the last 30 or 40 years. So I'm going to get more of a historical perspective and kind of go back in time and talk about those dogs too, as well as get with the top current 
reproducers and competitors just to bring it to you guys because I think you guys deserve it. I think the hounds and handlers deserve it, and I think it's going to be good for the sport. So thank you for your support, and thank you for watching all my videos and commenting. And if you ever have any questions or want to see something in particular, just let me know below. Thank you.